Hi there, I'm Marcus Rodison. I am a dairy farmer here in Cambridge. Hi, I'm Karen Hughes from Cambridge High School, science and bio teacher here, and I'm also the SSCP coordinator for Cambridge High School. Hi, I'm Dylan, I'm a year 12 student at Cambridge High School. Over the last 20 or so years we've seen a rapid increase in, um, in cow numbers. So whilst the uh, efficiencies in how we operate on farm have increased markedly over the last 50 or so years, uh, with that increasing number of animals on farms you, you still have seen an increase in, um, in, in people required to work on those farms. Um, and, um, and support the industry. Um, so that's sort of the, the demand side and then on the supply side you've got basically um, as yeah, this, the average age of farmers has, has continued to creep up um, and as they exit the industry we need skilled New Zealanders to come through and, and replace them and hopefully one day be able to get to a point where they can take over the ownership of those farms. For a lot of people that's the end goal. Um, and I think hindering that supply side a bit uh, could also potentially be um, that agriculture is not seen as an as a, uh, exciting industry to get into, which is probably a bit of a misnomer, but um, that, I think that's hindering us a bit. Um, and so to supplement the workforce, we've had to re rely a lot on migrant labour. Uh, so you've got several thousand migrants uh, working on New Zealand farms, which is great because they're skilled and they can do the work. Uh, but now, particularly with COVID-19, that's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works and uh, it's actually really important that we make sure we train locals uh, and New Zealanders to get out there and, and follow careers on farm to, um, yeah, to, to take the opportunities, really. We find that students aren't getting the exposure to the primary industries that they might have in previous generations, so a lot of them aren't necessarily seeing it as a viable career option. When we talk, we don't really talk about our, like, what we want to do, but um, those that I have talked to are sort of not wanting to just because they, they don't think they could do half the stuff farmers do. No one has any experience in what they want to do. There's not really many like options to go and do what you want to do. Our primary industry partners within the science department through SCCP have been the Cambridge Equine Hospital, Fonterra with their local cheese manufacturing plant here at Hautapu, and also the local farmers group who have been incredibly generous with their time and experience. So Fonterra has enabled groups of students to go through their cheese making plant to see what happens to milk at that end of the, the supply chain. They've also come in and talked to our students about the, the supply chain itself and all of the key components in making dairying such a key part of the New Zealand economy. I think SCCP uh, provides a really exciting opportunity for employers um, across the, the spectrum, but yeah, I suppose specifically in our case for us as farmers to get into the classroom and show that what we do is actually it's not as, as maybe simple as the per perception is, and it's not just milking cows and, and hard work and long hours. Uh, there's certainly an element of, of that at certain times of year, but there's so much science in behind what we do. It's really technical. Um, there's so much technology involved with what we do, so I think um, we, when you sort of case it all together, we've actually got a really exciting um, prospective career for people, uh, I just don't think it's been sold that way. So for us to be able to get in into the classrooms and show the kids what we do, um, it sort of plants that seed and then when we get them out on farm, um, you see for, for certain, certain kids with I suppose a certain interest, it just clicks and you see them being really excited about being out on farm and, and seeing what, you know, the potential career pathways. So.
there's, there's generally about sort of four or five rural sort of kids in the classroom um, and then there's yeah you get kids who are really interested and in asking really good questions um, but it's, it's once you get them out onto the farm that you really see the the, the, the change and, and the excitement levels building. Last year we were fortunate enough to take nine classes of year 10 students out to our farm in Cambridge. And that day involved the groups of students going through a range of different activities which had been organised by our fantastic local farmer group. It involved representatives from the agri-finance industry talking about the flow of money and the support for that side of the industry and the opportunities in those careers. We had a local vet there for the day talking about the career opportunities in animal health and the pathways that students could take to access those careers. We had farmers themselves talking about that on the coal face, so to speak, or in the paddock, playing with the animals doing the work out in the field. And Fonterra was also there talking about the logistics of getting the initial raw product into the supply chain. And again, more career opportunities for a huge range of students and their different abilities and interests. So what our students got out of that day was the, the huge range of different careers available to them, different pathways that suit all of their different interests, capabilities, and desires for their own future. When I was in year 10 I had Marcus as my SSEP sort of talker. Um, we did the Fonterra one and it was definitely unique. We had an experience of almost everything. We um, were told about how they went through carving, how the truck works, um, some parts of the shed and how everything works. Um, I really enjoy it so I think you should Give it a try if you ever get the chance. For us, we've noticed our students have got a broader understanding of where what we're doing in class fits into their lifelong pathways. We talk about creating lifelong learners in education. This is seeing where that actually goes for them. It's not just about what we're doing in the classroom, but how it links to the wider industry and what they can see for their own futures. So for a lot of them, they're asking questions about why are we doing this? And when we link it to jobs, it's not theoretical anymore. It gives them an actual context to, to link to and to think about what they could be doing with their futures. We've had quite a few students who have firmed up their career goals following SCCP exposure. We've had quite a few saying they would like to explore veterinary science. We've had quite a few saying they actually now know what farmers do and are really keen to get into that primary industry start of the supply chain and can see the benefits of it both in terms of personal growth and wealth and also job satisfaction and variety in being their own boss which is a pretty difficult pathway for a teenager to see into otherwise without having had the exposure our students have been lucky enough to get through SCCP. One of the key benefits I've seen for myself as a teacher with SCCP is getting the idea of the community support for our students both while they're undergoing their time here at Cambridge High School but also for their pathways. People want to help, they want to be involved and they absolutely want to support young people having access to meaningful careers that make sense to them and support the economic activities of whichever industry we're looking at. Our farmers in particular have been brilliant about supporting our kids' efforts to get involved in farming, first with our day out at our farm, coming in and talking to our classes, taking time out of their very busy days, and also offering job opportunities for part-time work experience for kids who are interested. Uh, yeah, so the teachers are fantastic. Um, so they are really helpful in terms of uh, sort of offering their, uh, their time to help improve our presentation and, and what we um, have to offer. Uh, it was yeah, year, um, last year when I was in class presenting um, I put up a cheeky little ad at the end of my PowerPoint slide saying that if, you, if you're interested to um, see what it's all about and practice and get out on farm and, and just have a go um, that I had a, had a role going. My sister did SSEP. I had Marcus as well but Marcus told the class that he was looking for a worker and my sister told me and I came down and got the job. Um, yeah, it's really exciting to 
um, have got to the stage through SSCP that we've now employing one of the students um, and for me that's it's so rewarding to be a, a, have the opportunity to um, teach someone from scratch um, so with, in Dylan's case he wasn't from a farming background and, and to be able to teach him um, everything from scratch and see when something clicks you know the light go, go off in his, in his brain and, and it clicking and also um, see him as, he, as he's progressed um, see him taking initiative and seeing things that are being done around the farm and, and thinking oh yeah next time I'll do that without being asked and that's really exciting to see that confidence building um, so yeah absolutely in the future I'll, I'll be keen as to take someone on again and the main thing is that they've got a good attitude and then you can um, you can teach anyone anything so yeah absolutely it's a it's a great great initiative. So we found that SSEP has really opened those doors and opened their eyes to what is out there, particularly given our local context of Cambridge with the dairy industry and even the equine industry in the local areas being incredibly strong. Getting them to see those career opportunities in our local area has been fantastic. The job here it was everything I wanted outdoors, um, interactive, not seen behind a desk all day. Uh, yeah, just everything I wanted in a job. Hopefully I go to Lincoln University um, and sort of just start doing dairy work here and there and hopefully I can get my own farm when I'm old enough.